Of course, one could be a personal attendant of the Holy Name. One can be a personal attendant of the Lord in so many ways. If we want to practice becoming the personal attendant, then deity worship can be very helpful because there we are practicing, we are dealing after all with the Supreme Lord. <coughs> if you have deities at home, uh, then, then you live with God. Right? So he is obviously, uh, it's his home and we are also here tonight. Uh, Uruv and Vishak are allowed to stay here, that's about it. But nothing more. Right? <coughs> they absolutely have no claim to this place right? as that is for them. It's not, obviously not, like with, look who's here, you know. There's quite an assembly. Yeah? It's there <coughs> on this altar, so there's no doubt about it. Krishna is here, and in many forms, and he has different moods also, in his different forms. Right? In the form of Lord Jagannath, he's terribly hungry. Huh? <laughs> terribly, he eats all day. So, therefore, in the form of Lord Jagannath, you can't offer him enough. Right? Yeah. That's the case. He wants to eat all the time. Uh, and like that, Gorni Thai are here. It's, it's, and it looks like Hanuman is here as well. He's yeah. a, a servant of the Lord. Podcast is good. I can't see what's on there. But <laughs> it's bigger. Uh -huh. Anyway, Srinidev is present. And of course, Gorni Thai is doubly present. Right? So, looking at all that, we, we have quite a presence of the Lord. Um, so, the deity worship is personal. It requires that we personally fulfill the needs. It's not, uh, you can't forget to change the water. Maybe you don't chant a mantra, that's one thing, you know. That's not so important, right? whether you chant the mantra. But changing the water is very important because Krishna is a person. The mantra in one way is the formal way of approaching Krishna. For example, you know, you offer him the water and 